So, let's solve this problem. So, for this derivative of trigonometric functions with trigonometric identities, so for this given y equals sine 4x times cotangent 4x, since this given have the same angles, then we need to check if there is an identity and using this figure to find the different fundamental identities since the given is multiplication, so we have sine times cotangent. And from this figure, multiplying the two functions, the result is the middle function. So for sine times cotangent and the middle function is cosine, so therefore we can reduce this given as y equals cosine 4x, then we can find now the derivative from this equation. So we have y prime equals the derivative of cosine is negative sine 4x times the derivative of 4x is 4. Then we can write this one as y prime equals we need to put the constant first. So this is negative 4 sine 4x. Then for this given, so since the same angles, then we need to check if there is an identity. So multiplying these two functions, tangent times cosecant, and the middle function is second, so we can reduce this given as y equals second 2x plus 5. Then we can find now the derivative. So the derivative of second, this is second times tangent, then times the derivative of 2x plus 5. So this is 2. Then we can write this one as y prime equals, we need to put the constant first. So this is 2 times second times tangent. And for this given, so y equals sine 5x over cosine 5x. So using this figure to find the different identities. And take note that for the ratio, of these two functions, the result is the function before them. So for the sine over cosine, so we have sine over cosine, and the function before them is tangent. So this equation is equal to y equals tangent 5x. Then we can find now the derivative. So the derivative of tangent is second squared 5x times the derivative of 5x is 5. Then we can write as y prime equals 5 times second squared 5x. And for this given, so using this figure, so the ratio of these two functions is the function before them. So we have second over tangent and the function before them is cosecant. So this is equal to y equals cosecant 4x minus 6. Then to find now the derivative. So the derivative of cosecant is negative cosecant times cotangent, then times the derivative of 4x minus 6, this is 4, then this becomes y prime equals negative 4 times cosecant times cotangent. Then for this given, y equals 3 sine 6x cosine 6x, so using this figure, since this one is multiplication, so the result is the function between them. So we have sine times cosecant. 
since there is no function between sine and cosecant, then we cannot use this figure to find the identity for this equation. But we have this double angle for sine that 2 sine a times cosine a is equal to sine 2a. So from this given for the product of sine and cosine, so using this identity, so first, we need to divide this number by 2, then multiply the angle of sine by 2, so this becomes sine 2 times 6x, then to simplify, so y equals 3 over 2, then 2 times 6, so this is sine 12x, then we can find now the derivative. So first, bring down this 3 over 2, then times the derivative of sine, that's cosine, times the derivative of 12x, that's 12. Then to simplify, so multiply this 3 times 12. And 3 times 12, that's 36, then over 2, times cosine 12, then reduce this 36 over 2, so this is equal to 18 times cosine 12x. Then for this given, so again using this double angle identity for sine, because we have this sine times cosine, so first, Divide this number by 2, then times sine 2 times the given angle, that's 2. Then to simplify, so multiply this 2 times 2x, and this 10 divide by 2. So y equals 5 times sine 4x. Then to find now the derivative, so bring down this 5 times the derivative of sine is cosine, times the derivative of 4x, that's 4, then multiply, so 5 times 4, so we have y prime equals 20, times cosine 4x. Then for this given, y equals cosine squared 3x, minus sine squared 3x, so for this given, we cannot use this figure to find the identity, but we have this double angle for cosine, that cosine squared a minus sine squared a, that's equal to cosine, 2 times the given angle. So we have this cosine squared minus sine squared, so we can use now this identity. So we have y equals cosine 2 times the given angle, that's 3x. Then to simplify, so multiply this 2 times 3. So y equals cosine 6x, then to find the derivative. So the derivative of cosine is negative sine times the derivative of 6x, that's 6. Then to simplify, so y prime equals negative 6 sine 6x.